Today's coaster review is of the classic corkscrew roller coaster at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. This is one of the park's most iconic roller coasters because it stretches across the park's main midway. Everyone's seen that famous picture. We all know and love it, but unfortunately we all don't love the ride. I'm going to be giving my full thoughts on this coaster right here, right now. But first, let's get to the stats. The stats on this coaster are really not that impressive, but that's because this coaster opened in 1976. To put that in perspective, that's only one year after King's Dominion opened for the first time. That's how old this coaster is. It's only 85 feet tall, has a length of 2,050 feet, reaches a maximum speed of 48 miles per hour, has three inversions, and a duration of two minutes. And when it opened, it cost less than two million dollars. That's unheard of nowadays. But that's also because of inflation back then, etc, etc. But this coaster is most famous for being the first ever coaster to have three inversions. And it would have been the first real inverting roller coaster had the revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain not opened just a couple days earlier than Corkscrew's opening. But it was still the first ever coaster to feature three inversions, which is pretty cool. Almost feels like you're riding a part of history. Well, let's talk about the ride. First, you're going to go up the lift hill very slowly, like it, it takes forever. Then you're going to go down a not very steep drop into a not very fun airtime hill, and then into your first inversion, which is just your normal vertical loop. Not bad or anything, it's just okay. And then you're going to come up into the straight section, bank right, and go into your famous corkscrew elements. Nowadays, the double corkscrew is a pretty standard element on a lot of roller coasters, but this one was the first ever coaster to do that, and so for that reason, they actually named the coaster after that element. The actual corkscrews themselves are just fine. I wouldn't say that they're painful at all, but don't get me wrong, parts of this coaster are rough. I find the inversions to not be that bad, but because of the restraints that this coaster has, it is very possible that you'll bang your head on the restraints. It's just a jerky coaster. I mean, this coaster was revolutionary at the time that it opened, but nowadays it's just not that great of a ride. The reason that Cedar Point hasn't removed it is because of its history, because of the records that it broke, and how it's such an iconic coaster of the park. If it weren't for those two things, then Cedar Point probably would have removed it by now. It's probably one of the weakest roller coasters at Cedar Point. It's one of those rides that you ride once and you just don't need to ride again. When you're at a park like Cedar Point, you spend your time riding other roller coasters like Maverick, Millennium Force, and Top Thrill Dragster. I mean, when I went to Cedar Point, they were running three trains on Corkscrew, yet the station was empty. There were not very many people in line for it at all. Yet at the same day, Millennium Force had an hour and a half wait. Corkscrew has built up a reputation at Cedar Point for not being that great of a ride. So I'm going to give it a final score. I give it about a 4. There are some parts of this ride that are fine. The inversions are totally tolerable. It's just everything else that kind of stinks. But on the bright side, it's a really pretty coaster. So anyways, that's my review of the Corkscrew at Cedar Point. I want to know what you think of this ride. And if you're new to Coaster Studios, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more coaster reviews. I've reviewed coasters from all across the country, so make sure to check those out.